Okay, guys, you ready for the wild ride of the eclipses? Yeah, we started today with at um, 3.01 a.m. Eastern. We've got a lunar eclipse um, in the sign of Libra. So the sun is going to go over the moon, in other words. And with this happening, the sun in Aries, this energy, yeah, people are going to be a little more assertive than usual. And their egoic selves may temporarily outshine their emotions. You may notice people are more in their heads than usual during this, this full moon, um, which usually is when the emotions come out, right? But not so much right now. Instead, people have may have a more of a, a me first type attitude. They may insist on only using logic to make decisions and their emotions may get pushed aside temporarily. And relationships may also take a back seat. However, with this eclipse happening so close to the lunar nodes, the universe is telling us that while it's all well and good to focus all of our on all of our mental fa faculties on pursuing our highest calling, going to extremes to get there, in other words, going all mental and pushing the emotions down or not ignoring your intuition, that's not gonna work. That's gonna backfire. We need to strike a balance between work and play, nurturing our ambition and nurturing our relationships, putting ourselves first and harmonizing with others, driving home our own viewpoints while also seeking win-win compromises with people. So if you've let your ego, your drive, your ambition, um, your projects, your work, all of those things take center stage for too long, you may notice even some physical um, symptoms coming up like migraines and headaches um, can definitely happen now. Muscle pain, eye strain, all that kind of stuff would be um, symptoms that you're out of balance and you've been focusing too much on going after what you want and ignoring Ignoring your emotions, ignoring your relationships, ignoring other people, your partners, all that kind of stuff. So relationship problems can definitely become more intense today. And also for the next few months, because remember, these eclipse energies are not a one and done type thing. They're, they hang around for a while. So any of these, these problems, we've got a window to work on them. But um, if you've been out of balance, expect them to be to take some work to get it done. With Venus and Pluto also forming a tense aspect just a few hours after the eclipse happens this morning, you may see power struggles and issues around control rearing, rearing their ugly heads today, especially if, it, if you've been neglecting any of your relationships. Partners can suddenly become very demanding and require your full attention under these vibes. Or we could also be forced to deal with some kind of unexpected financial or resource related issue that's been kind of flying under the radar and all of a sudden re rears its ugly head as a crisis, reaches a crisis level now. So if you actively strive though to achieve a balance every day, meaning that you try to give equal priority to your own needs as well as those of your partners, whether they're romantic partners, business partners, your family, um, any kind of partnership. Um, if you're trying to, to, to give you know attention and focus to them as well as your own needs, then you're using this energy wisely. And the energy of this eclipse will then help you to kind of figure out um, when to fight for your own way and when to relax or relent um, and kind of seek that compromise. Uh, so just by listening to your own intuitive guidance and very importantly, honoring it, not just ignoring it when you get that intuitive hit, that's the key right now. And that's what's going to help you to figure out how to do this even better going forward. When I say doing this, I mean reaching that balance between me and everybody else. So if we get better and better at knowing which crises are real and which ones are, you know, not really deserving of, of our immediate attention, uh, that's going to that's going to really help us to, to move forward with this. And again, that's that's all tied into listening to your intuition and helping that 
guide you taking action on it instead of just thinking, oh, maybe, you know, yeah, I got that idea, but it's not important. No, if it came in and, and it's something that you've been, you know, dealing with for a while, it is important. You need to pay attention to whatever that message is. So that's what um, this eclipse wants to teach us, to discern the difference between what's real in terms of crises and what's not, and when to seek that balance, when to, when to go after and, you know, really um, put it put the metal to the metal in terms of what we want to accomplish and when no it's time to take a break it's time to step away from that and pay attention to other people in our lives so this is evil condor astrology if you want to stay on top of the daily astro vibes go ahead and follow this channel thank you guys so much for watching and thanks you for all your likes comments shares follows all of that good stuff i hope you have a great time um with this eclipse and uh listen to it listen to its messages and I will catch you next time. Take care.